Getting enough sleep could be causing you to pack on the pounds. That's the finding of a recent study. So if you get less than five or six hours per night, you're at a higher risk of being overweight. And children who got less than 10 hours a night were more likely to gain weight. Also, researchers at the University of Colorado found losing just a few hours of sleep a few nights in a row can lead to almost immediate weight gain. Joining us now is Jamie Caroon, a naturopathic doctor at Bastier Center for Natural Health in Wallingford. Great to see you. Good to see you. Help Thank us you. connect the link here. So what is the connection between not getting enough sleep and then immediate, almost immediately, in some cases, gaining weight? Well, clinical research, as you mentioned, is just starting to explain some of these phenomenon that we're seeing. Historically, there's been this trend with the rise in obesity rates and a decrease in the amount of time that our Americans are spent sleeping. And so until recently, it's really been an association. But some of these studies are beginning to elucidate, elucidate the, the mechanism that's going on underneath. And it turns out that it has a lot to do with insulin and the insulin receptor, which you may be familiar with, is very connected to diabetes. So it's not that you're tired, you're going to eat more. That's not the connection. Well, some of it, it, it certainly is. The longer that you're awake, the greater the potential is that you will eat. And we know that people that are eating after dinner are preferentially eating carbohydrates, which tend to uh, pack on the pounds for us. So some of it is logistical. The longer you're awake, the more time that you have available to consume foods. But what we're also now finding is that there are some metabolic effects of not sleeping enough and that these effects are mediated through insulin and the insulin receptor. I'm going to ask you a practical question then. I'm tired, but I'm hungry. Do I eat before I go to bed or do I just go to bed? No, you want to eat. If, so after dinner you're talking about? Yeah, let's say it's 11 o'clock at night and I know I'm tired and I should go to bed, but I'm feeling hungry. Yeah. What do I do? Have a little snack, a snack that contains fiber and protein, but don't eat junk food. Maybe some nuts or some seeds or something like that, but don't hit the ice cream, don't hit the candy bar. Okay. It's not just weight gain, too. If you don't get enough sleep, you're at risk for a whole host of medical problems, correct? Absolutely. And, and as I mentioned, diabetes is one of them. So we have obesity and diabetes that you're at increased risk for. Um, certainly, if you have mood disorders like depression or anxiety, those can be exacerbated by lack of sleep hypertension, risk of stroke, not to mention just being an irritable and unpleasant person and affecting our ability to be, to be productive the next day, which is you know, so important to us in these times. And anybody who has had a newborn out there, we know what we're like when we're not getting enough sleep. So getting enough sleep and knowing I need to get more sleep, two different things. Yeah. What is your advice to make people get in bed when they need to be in bed? It has to be prioritized. You know, it can't just be something that you get around to when the clock strikes 11 or 12, whatever it may be. It has to be something that you really are aware of the importance of and that you make a, a specific effort to uh, respect and value. And so it's really important to pick a time at night that you're going to go to bed each night and stick to it. Have a ritual that allows you to sort of calm down before bed. Maybe it's reading, maybe it's lighting a candle, meditating, whatever it may be, stretching. Uh, try to avoid drinking fluids at least two hours before you go to sleep so they don't have to wake up in the middle of the night to use the bathroom. Um, and have a little snack, maybe a small protein-containing snack so that hypoglycemia isn't waking you up in the middle of the night. Um, but a lot of this depends on the particular reasons why you're not sleeping. What I just mentioned is sort of general. And so a lot of times it can be helpful to meet with a doctor to see what the reason is that, that you're not sleeping and then come up with an individualized plan that's going to help you. And if you feel like you can't sleep, that's the time to seek help? I think so. I mean, if, if you're finding that week after week you're having a problem sleeping, it's a great idea to go and see a doctor, map out a strategy to solve the problems. Great information.